introduction. Look, uh, we all know that it's not easy to be a federal employee these days. So, uh, the media seems to go out of its way to point out everything that you might be doing wrong, but not pointing out what you're doing right. And what's worse, sequestration and the government shutdown uh, hit way too many of you in your wallets. Now, it is a shame that folks in Congress don't understand your hard work or recognize the value of public service. So before any, I go any further, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for helping build this country. Thank you, thank you for putting our country first. Because we all know that you strengthen our economy, you improve our health, you keep our nation safe. In a country of more than 300 million people, we shouldn't take your hard work for granted. But unfortunately, there are far too many that do. As head of the Senate panel that oversees the federal workforce, I will continue to have your back. I will continue to make sure that you have the resources that you need to do your job. And I will continually fight back against irresponsible attacks on your wages and your benefits. And that's why I'm fighting against the new postal reform bill. Because buried in that bill, is an effort to cut workers, workers' compensation for federal employees. Politicians like to demand an efficient and, a federal, and effective federal government, but you'd never know it, judging by the way they view and treat workers like you. The workers' comp provision is just one example where po politicians try to score political points or balance the budget on your backs. They go after your retirement benefits, they go after your travel, and I don't mean lavish conferences, but rather hard work of program evaluation in the field. These same folks who criticize field work also accuse you of not having an understanding of what's happening in the field. That doesn't make sense. It all culminated with sequestration and the government shutdown. For some folks, sequestration and the shutdown were about scoring political points. For others, they were opportunities to shake their head and bemoan the state of affairs here in Washington. But for you, sequestration and the shutdown kept you from your work and threatened your livelihoods. It implied that your work is not essential, but we all know that that is not true. I know firsthand. I've had the honor of getting to know an EPA employee over the last year who has been assigned to my office. His contributions have been invaluable to my office, to my staff, and to the state of Montana. Federal workers didn't cause our budget problems. And you shouldn't be the scapegoats for politicians trying to score political points. Sequestration and the shutdown should never have happened because they sent the wrong message about the value of public service. <laughs> they also sent the wrong message about the value of you and your coworkers. My subcommittee will hold a hearing this spring to look at ways that we can better support federal workers and improve morale. In the wake of sequestration and the shutdown, we must address the state of federal workers from two standpoints, compensation and perception. None of us are going to get rich in public service, but we ought to be able to make a living doing our jobs and helping our nation. The federal government must ensure that salaries and benefits properly uh, compensate you for your work. It must ensure that workers have the opportunities to grow and feel valued in their jobs. And as the economy strengthens, it must ensure that your compensation stays competitive with the private sector. Recent studies depicting low morale at many federal departments are discouraging. And my hearing will strive to find smart solutions that will help keep the federal workplace as dynamic and rewarding as it is and as it needs to be. I will continue to make sure that your sacrifice is recognized and that folks respect your work. Because if there's one value that my, my parents taught me above all, it's that hard work is honorable. That hard work is a means to an end, but also an end in and of itself. If you do good, hard work for the country, I'll keep working for you. Whether it's pushing a resolution calling for Public Service Recognition Week, or fighting against folks that are trying to balance the budget on your back, I'll stand up for you. That's the bottom line. You've taken your lumps. That's
You have taken your lumps in recent years, and rarely it has been rightfully so. But it is time for folks to look in the mirror and start recognizing the value of public service, and to start recognizing the time and the effort and the sacrifices you make to strengthen our country and to keep this country the greatest nation in the world. God bless you all. Thank you for your service, and thank you for having me here today. <laughs>